run out of batteries in the middle of the night, and the college students don't wake up, as I know I'm from my lovely daughter, who said I'll be on the 8 o'clock train from Boston to Worcester, and so I go down to pick her up, not there. Call somebody, she's not there, call her, not there. Battery died, she shows up two hours later. In the meantime, I had already gone to the state police trying to figure out <laughs> where she is, and then they found her, but nevertheless, she was fine. Um, radio, there's more formats. Now, what's that, what's that uh, jack? We play everything, right? It used to be, well, we only play the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Now, you go on, uh, what do you call it, uh, XM and Sirius, they got the 50s channel, the 60s channel. Pretty soon they'll be having the 51s, the 52s, the 53s. You got Howard Stern, you got Howard Stern Light, you got Howard Stern Dark, you got every, everything imaginable. And newspapers, even though they still are valuable, and I hope our newspapers never go out of business, because we need investigative reporters. Because the radio and TV stations in smaller markets do not fill that, fill that gap having investigative reporters. We need that. So you don't want to totally get out of the old medium. You just want to look at other options. How fast is this stuff growing? It means, how many years did it take to reach 50 million users? It took radio 30 years, TV 13 years. It took just nine months for Facebook to reach a million people. Now, interesting. First time I put this presentation together was in October, and Facebook had 250 million users. And I updated today to 350 million users. And somebody told me two days ago that, no, you're wrong, it's 400 million users. So you can see, just from October till now, the growth of that one particular medium, one particular platform, excuse me. Is it a fad? It's not a fad. And I'm not going to play the video. So you can see the difference in the various. And those change daily. I mean, we should almost have a PowerPoint presentation that, you know, like a Times Square that shows the national debt where the, the numbers keep changing. That's what it would be. Why do we want to get into this stuff? Why? Let me, let me stop for one second. Are, are any of you the reason that you haven't gotten into it? If you have the guts to raise your hand, are you, are you somewhat intimidated by it for fear you might? Talk to, I talked to somebody last night, a real estate person in Shrewsbury, so she's not in your market. And I said, do you have a Facebook page? She said, no. I said, why? She said, I need to. I said, why don't you have it? She said, after applause, I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid of it because we're going to show you some other implications here. If you put the wrong material up there, <laughs> you can be in major trouble. What was that? Right, right. But sometimes, you know, uh, you, 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 the question is, do you get in trouble for what you post or do you get in trouble for what you don't post? Okay, I'm going to suggest don't post if there's any, if there's any uh, gray matter to it, whatever. But this new generation grew up with technology. My daughter, I keep referring to my daughter, but I have no problem with that. She's a big kid. And after spending $200,000 at Syracuse University, she does have a job in her field. So I... <laughs> <laughs> I remember her when she was IMing. She's still in high school. She's IMing instant messaging, which is passe. Now, texting is even passe. But she's IMing. No, email is passe. Um, and she's got like 10 kids going on at once. Ten, you know, all you hear is beep, beep, beep. And if you, like, your, your, your house feels like a satellite center. Beep, beep, beep. She's IMing 10 or 12 people at once. And then she's on her cell phone. And then the house phone rings. And it, sometimes she puts the house phone next to the cell phone to have her two friends talk to each other who couldn't reach each other, but she had a both, so she put the two phones next to each other. But the thing that really would get me upset is that she had the clicker, too. So she's beep, beep, beeping away, and I go up to think, I'm watching that. <laughs> Remember that? Watching that. Okay. Anybody else got kids that can relate to that? <laughs> Different ways to communicate, texting. You, you can deal worldwide with this particular situation. Um, look at all the kids that uh, were walking in the Olympic, um, the Olympic team members that have all had their, their iPods and, and their little cell phone cameras that they were 
videoing everything. Um, it's open 24 seven and it's great for keeping in touch. And if you're in the real estate business, I, I, know, I want to use one business here as a referral and certainly uh, real estate is a business that you need to stay in touch with people because all the statistics show that you'll only sell a house to somebody about every 3.7 years or something like that. That keeps changing depending whether you talk to a real estate group in uh, California or New England where people are you know, moving around a lot, et cetera. So anyway, why use it? Why now is the best time? When things were going great, people were reluctant to change anything. Well, it's going great right now. I don't want to change. Well, unless you know somebody that I don't know, things ain't going great for a lot of people. So their acceptance to change is much greater. Besides, many ways, many of the old ways just don't work anymore. That thing down the bottom is very, very important because it goes, remember I said back right at the beginning, it goes back to establishing a relationship. Well, this puts you on the cutting edge, so greater recall ability, even when folks are not buying, so that when the time comes that things rebound, you have stayed in touch with these people during that whole time period instead of just not dealt with them at all. This is very, very vital. How many of you, again, for those of you that have Facebook pages, um, how many of you have seen people that all they're doing is schlepping? All they're doing is pushing something, always trying to sell something, whether it's a MLM or whether it's something, or, or but it's, do those people, do you, do you uh, hold back on their acceptance? Do you, do you have a little less credibility? Okay, this is, this is a very important slide. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on it. Give before getting. With LinkedIn, for example, there are questions that people in your organization ask. And again, um, uh, Jen said my LinkedIn group is about 9.9 .9 million people. Now, only 951 of those are personally connected to me. Then it goes to three million friends of friends, and then it goes to 9.98 .9 million of friends of friends of friends. So do I know those nine million people? No, but if I ask a question about something, I've got three million people that I can bounce it off. And at the same time, when I am giving back, there's three to nine million people that see that I'm an information provider. <clears throat> so you gotta give before you seek help. Give or scan. Eventually, again, it's not going to be instant. And by the way, let me let me explain one thing to you. Everything that we're talking about today, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is gradual. This is daily. This is over a long period of time. Now, what a long period of time is? It depends on what your what field of business that you're in right now. But this is not something that you are going to take this class and then Monday morning wake up. And whoever you're working for, or if you work for yourself, go in and close a business and go on a uh, worldwide cruise. It's not going to happen. If anybody who tells you it is, they're lying to you. Provide information for others, and they'll be happy to reciprocate. In other words, do something for someone else, and then many times what you give out is given back to you in multiples, both good and bad. I mean, that's a principle of life, not just in this. Don't always be selling, and I always use the 80-20. Give more than you ask. Help other people 80% of the time because then you become known as an information source in your particular category. This is absolutely vital.